Fabrice Kanonje, VP Global Sales of Centric Software, is excited about the company's entry into the Indian retail market. On one hand, he is aware that his company will have to deal with resistance from retailers who are unwilling to accept PLM solutions. This is either because they have seen failures from other PLM vendors in the past or because they are unaware about the benefits it can offer to their business. Yet, he is optimistic about the opportunities too, especially since Centric Software Solutions has easy and out-of-the-box solutions designed with SME retailers in mind. He tells retail networks that the company will start working with select lighthouse accounts in specific retail domains and these success stories will act as business ambassadors for the company. Yeah, we created this company from scratch uh, 15 years ago to invent a new way of doing PLMs. Main, the main solution available at this period of time on the market were mainly coming from the discrete manufacturing. We decided to build a solution totally dedicated to fashion and retail, designed for them, and with the, some basics, pillars, as easy to use. So the company has been growing very fast, like 60% per year, uh, five years in a row, and we have a lot of potential buyer arriving in the race, and the system was one of them. And last July, we decided to partner with them, so they acquired a majority stake in Centric. So, originally, the company was being created in uh, Silicon Valley, uh, in Camden, California. Uh, on the other hand, we created the European branch uh, in Paris, where fashion uh, is famous for and then we spread all around the world right so we have offices in, in uh, more than 40 countries uh, including uh, China where we we start four years ago in Shanghai and uh, uh, Guangzhou and uh, Beijing and we have an incredible growth in China uh, we signed 45 customers in four years so we have offices in Hong Kong and Japan in uh, all Asia pack it's very booming for us uh, and uh, all South America as well so right right now the business for centric is 40% in uh, Americas, right? 40% in Europe, 20% in Asia, pack, uh, and going very fast, and now entering into India. So India is a uh, very exciting market because uh, when you look at the way uh, it's structured, there is uh, some very big retailers, some very big fashion company, but then there is a huge bunch of small and medium business. And so I think the, the, the big challenge uh, with this type of market uh, is that people are resistant to change uh, and particularly in India there have been several PM trying to sell during the last 10 years in the fashion world and there's been big failures. Yeah, they, they brought, they brought the, the wrong approach on the market, right? They come with uh, all generation platform, complex, uh, too long to implement, too expensive and at the end of the day, you know, user in, in fashion, they don't have time, right? If they go in a system that is too complicated, they go back to Excel. The other way, if you prove success, then it could very, very fast. So that's our plan for India. So in general, what we do, we find uh, what we call a lighthouse account, right? We take one by sub-segment in the industry and we try to have a special care for them, make them happy. Right, very quickly, improve the concept, prove the promise. And when we deliver the value, then people talk. They start to talk and then it's pretty easy, right? They're, it's a snowball effect, they're by themselves. We're selling to fashion and sporting goods. So that's Apple footwear accessory, right? So that's one type of company. In this global market of fashion and sporting goods, we have retailers, we have wholesalers, we have brands, we have OEM, we have agent, we have licensing people, right? So that's a category. The second category is what do I call multi-category retailer. Could be grocery company, could be any kind of retailer that has to bring to new product to the market quickly, right? So it could be any chain, supermarket that you have in your country that will is developing what we call private label. And the third one um, that is also um, uh, very exciting is consumer goods. So ideally, I would like to see a lighthouse account in fashion, a lighthouse account in sporting goods, a lighthouse account in multi-category retailer, and one in other consumer goods. But in the digital transformation journey, why people want to go through this path in apparel and fashion is 
to go faster. Speed is number one, time to market, right? The second one is innovation. The company will not innovate, it will die, right? And the third one is flexibility, right? It's Darwin strategy. So the way we are doing for SMB is we're bringing them a out of the box system with best practices, right? So if they want to go quick, they just adopt the system in the cloud with best practices and run immediately. So they're a partner with a company called Simbas Technology that uh, has a, a good reputation in the fashion and retail. And it's a, a limited team, uh, the huge organizations, but it's a team based on experts. Uh, so we are uh, going to launch uh, our activity with them in the, in the market. And uh, so the way we are doing in general with partners is we are uh, putting a, a centric guy in control of the project on top of the partner, right? And so the partner is there to provide the local support uh, and the local expertise uh, and the cultural fit. Uh, uh, but in, on top of that, we have a pool of consultants worldwide of centric that are expert. Uh, 12 years ago, we partnered uh, with our, a company uh, based in Chennai called Kripia, where they are doing our, the support for us in Asia. They are doing also a uh, portion of uh, testing for Sentry. Uh, so they are already a person, they know the system by heart. They supported our customers all around the world, right? So we already have the support in India. So that's the easiest part of the game for us. And so we don't have a specific target in terms of number of customers, revenue, profit, we, once again, we have more target about how many customers we want to see in how many segments, right? And so uh, we want key customers, Lighthouse, Anchor customers, quickly signing with us and quickly happy and implemented. That's the top priority, then the business will count.